Um, you talked about the interface with our technology. Uh, I'm sure you've seen Elon Musk and his company Neuralink. Mm -hmm. um, are, uh, are you ready to get those things placed inside your head so we can connect with the phones? And also maybe you could explain to people what it's all about because it's about increasing the bandwidth that humans can communicate with computers. Because right now we use right. thumbs, right. and it's very low bandwidth, right? Very low bandwidth. Um, so there's an idea, yeah, that you could build implants literally inside the skull uh, that would communicate directly to your brain. Now, this, the technology's not there yet. It's not going to be next year, okay? Uh, people are now building brain-computer interfaces that are like helmets or things that you wear in your forehead, and they're much more crude, but they don't go inside your skull, so that's safer. Um, but if it happened, if it worked, which again, there's no law of physics that says it couldn't work, so maybe it will. It's sort of a way to augment human cognitive capacities, you know, like we can write plays or write symphonies or create art, but we can't calculate the tip <laughs> on a bill. Whereas any little cheap, uh, old fashioned 1970s calculator wristwatch and yeah. calculate the tip no problem i had one yeah. we're way smarter than that wristwatch but here's a task that the wristwatch is way better than us at right right so by putting a little chip in your brain that could just hook itself up to a computer uh not only do we have access to wikipedia and twitter <laughs> very very quickly but we have the ability to like you know calculate things very very quickly like the computer could like look at our visual field and say, you know, you're, you got to slow down, you know, you're in trouble when you're driving down the road or whatever, you know, see things that we don't see and, and things like that. Now, of course, there's enormous problems associated with this. Just watch Black Mirror. It will worry, it will, you know, warn you about all these problems. Right. Once you have a computer in your brain, your eyeballs are video cameras, you know, you can record things, which is good. You're having a birthday party, you want to get the memories, you want to record it without holding up a phone. It's also bad for all sorts of pretty obvious reasons. Privacy reasons. Yes. What else? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. And so I'm very worried about privacy, about, you know, I, I just worry that it's people care about privacy, but it, there's so much sort of economic capitalistic uh, impetus and initiative to first do things and then fix them, uh, that it might be very hard to restore privacy once it's gone.